So, let's talk Warfronts. Um, Warfronts are going to be, and this is of course going off my memory, because why would I ever take notes? Um, they're going to be like a 20 man raid kind of thing. Um, with RTS elements, like base building and, um, well, base building and, uh, like recruiting troops and stuff like that. And I don't know about you guys, but that sounds really cool to me. Uh, I really like the sound of that, especially like if I could do it with a friend or with friends or something, it just seems like it'll be a blast. Um... Now, there hasn't been a whole lot said about it yet. Um, or about them yet. But I do want to kind of talk about them a little bit. What I hope they end up being. Um, and just some of the things I would like to see. Um, so, very slight spoiler warning. It was shown in the trailer, so... I guess it's not too spoiler heavy. But... Lordaeron, like the Undercity, is under siege. Um, and Teldrassil is burning to the ground. Teldrassil being the tree that has uh, Darnassus on it, the Night Elf capital. Um, so there's some bad mumbo jumbo going on. Uh, lots of war, lots of death, lots of fighting, and I think story wise. Like, each faction is getting kicked off a continent, and each faction is kind of getting their own continent. Eastern Kingdoms to the Alliance, Kalimdor to the Horde. Um, so... I'm trying to think of how to, uh, like, kind of... They've said that the first Warfront is going to be... Um... What's the place in the place called? Stromgard, I think. Um, Stromgard or Stormgard? I'm sorry. Um, in a in, I don't even want to say the zone name because I'm, I'm probably wrong. Arathi Highlands, I think. Um, that's in Eastern Kingdoms. That's Kalimdor. I have to look now, otherwise it's gonna bother me. Yeah, Stromgard. This will be. The first war front. Um, which, it. I can't tell. Like, they said so little, and I wish they had said more and had, like, a panel dedicated to each of these features, kind of explaining what's going on. But. I really hope that there's a lot of different war fronts and i know that's probably a very generic thing to say but there are so many like just miscellaneous keeps and whatever out and about in the world that could be used for uh the purpose of like the war fronts um like in Arathi Highlands, again, I'm fairly certain it's Hammerfall. Uh, because I like the band. Uh, where the hell is it? Yeah, Hammerfall's there. That could also be, like, its own little war front. And if you want to go even further, um, where's it at? It's not in... Hillsbrad. Uh, you could even have, like, Terran Mill and South Shore be, uh, war front or something. But... The thing I wish they had explained is, maybe they didn't, I missed it, uh, is if there's going to be different war fronts for both factions. Um, like, is it going to be occasionally the Horde gets to attack Stromgard and take it? Or occasionally the Alliance gets to attack Stromgard and, atta and take it? And what's going to trigger these? And they're like, what's going to trigger the war fronts? How long are they supposed to last? Um, like, is it going to be a daily thing? A weekly thing? What? Like, very, very little answers. But 
from the way it sounds, and this might be me reading into it far too much, which I tend to do a little bit, um, it sounds like, um, well, okay, let's look at the map again. Um, the Horde is supposedly getting kicked out of the Undercity, which is up here in Tears Fall. Um, however, uh, Eversong and Silvermoon are still here. Um, they didn't say anything about us getting kicked out of there. And supposedly it's going to act more like a staging area, in a way. That's, this is just from the way I understood it. It's going to act kind of like a staging area for, um, horde assaults on, uh, the Eastern Kingdoms. Whether this is true or not, I have no idea. There's a lot of players out there. I guess it's only 9 server or 10 server time. But, uh, distracted. So, what I would really like to see is, like, maybe, I don't think cities are going to change hands. I don't think that's something they can do. Um, and it would just be really weird to have the horde running around and storm win. As cool as that would also kind of be. Um, but I would like for there to be like, you know, the defense of Silver Moon or something like that. Um, but I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I can go on here for like an hour or two just about stuff I don't understand. Um, like. What's going to happen when you finish a war front? There's only one group of people going to be a duel, going to be able to do a war front. Um, are war fronts even going to make it into the game, or is this going to be another dance studio thing that's promised to us for over a decade and never comes? Um, it's just another really cool thing, and I really want to know more about it. I want to play it now. Blizzard, give me the game, please. Just release it now. Um, they did this thing. Where they said, uh, now usually at blah 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 blah, or usually at BlizzCon, you know, we show the little gameplay trailer, but then you have to wait for, uh, like, the cinematic trailer, and they show the cinematic trailer there as well. And I really thought they were going to say, and here's a release date for you, it's coming out early next year, and I was about to freak the fuck out, but that was not the case, sadly. Um... But what I want to see in a Warfront, not from them, but in them while stuff is actually going on. And, you know, the base building's going on, the fighting's going on, you know, getting down to business. I don't want to see just a uh, wave of enemies all clipping into each other, just kind of like this running at you. I'd like to see, like, enemies running in formation, because obviously the enemy is also going to be building a base. Um, they've said that much at least. Um, so I want to see strategy employed by the enemy and not it just be a Zerg fest from the enemy and a Zerg fest from, like, the players too. I want. I don't want the players to be able to run in and take care of everything themselves. Um, as cool as that would be, just 20 players rushing in to fight an army of NPCs. But I also don't want the enemy NPCs to fall before us, like, wait before a sight. You know, I want it to actually be a struggle. And for you have to put work into the victory and make it feel like you're actually at war. Because it's called the Battle for Azeroth. I want to actually fucking battle for Azeroth. <laughs> You know, I don't want it to be a face roll of Azeroth or whatever. Um, like, I can just see, you know, I'm, I play both Horde and Alliance. Um, but I feel like with this expansion coming up, I'm really going to kind of buckle down on the one 
faction, and I think that's probably going to be the Horde. Um, pretty much, basically, because all my high-level characters are on the Horde, and I just have an Alliance character to kind of see that side of the story. Um, like, I can see, you know, who, however you give the orders to your or to the NPCs, I don't know how that's supposed to happen. Um, but, like, you give the order, everybody's there, um, you got some healers ready, uh, you got some tanks ready to take some of the NPCs, you got your DPS at the ready with their bows, crossbows, guns, swords, yada, 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 all standing at ready, and then they give the charge order, and then I go, Taz Dingo, and, like, I don't want it to just be a mass charge or like a mass well that's exactly it i don't want it to be a mass i would like the enemy or the al god damn it the npcs to kind of be organized like i said um but like as cool as it'll be doing it with the players there I hope the grunts, I'm just going off Warcraft 3 units because I assume that's what they're going to be going off of. Um, like, I hope the grunts fall in line. I wouldn't mind a little zug zug uh, here and there. Um, or like uh, the, what are they called? Headhunters, I think. Troll headhunters uh, were the range unit, one of the range units. Um, and like the Wolf Riders and you know Torin and all that. I hope they're all there and I hope I hope they're all unique enough. It seems like they're kind of building the UI a little bit for NPCs and stuff like this um, in Battle for Azeroth so I have really high hopes um, but not only that I hope they kind of introduce some new troops as well and don't just completely copy the Warcraft 3 tree because obviously there's more people on the Horde now um, or there's more races on the Horde now since, uh, Warcraft 3, clearly. Um, so, like, you know, Blood Elf units, obviously. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. who else was added? Um, the Undead would, you know, like an Undead, uh, Undead Warlock would be pretty cool, I think. Um... I'm going to be able to get this guy to give me a ride, so I'll be able to think more clearly. I shouldn't do this while pl actually playing. I should do it over recorded footage. Um, even some Pandaren units would be pretty cool. And then with the allied races as well, um, for the Horde, it's Nightborn, High Mountain Torin, and Zandalari Trolls. They, you know, some units for them too. Just make it look like everybody's working together. You know what I mean? Um... But also, don't just have, like, troll headhunters. Have the grunts be, like, of every kind of race, you know? Um, headhunters, don't have them just be trolls with spears. Like, let there be an orc with a bow or something, you know? Or, uh, warlocks don't necessarily have to be undead. Let them be whatever race can be a warlock. How about this? Don't have, like orc grunt just have grunt and it can be any race that can be a warrior don't have a troll hunter have it just be hunter and any race can be a hunter or any race that can be a hunter can be uh that uh unit it's just random and as we know every race can be a hunter so it could literally be any of them uh for warlocks it could be any that could be a warlock monk any that could be a monk etc 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 um I just think the Warfronts have the potential to be super, super cool, and honestly, the Warfronts were what actually sold me on the expansion in the first place, because like I said, I was, or like I said in another video, I was very, very iffy on it, and then they started talking about this Warfront stuff, and I was like, ugh, that's that good shit right there. Like, I was sold on it right away, um, and I just really, I hope it's good. 
Like, I really, really hope it's good. I don't want to put all this time into the game and get super excited about it and then be disappointed. <laughs> nobody does. Um, I know, I know nobody does. Um, but just, man, think of all, think of all the cool possibilities for Warfronts, you know? Um, like, I don't know, an attack on Orgrimmar, even though that's already happened. Um, hell, even an attack on Razor Hill, why not? Um, I just, I, I, I don't even know, I don't even know anymore. Um, I hope, like, some of the old world stuff, like, gets a, uh, gets new textures, I guess, um, to kind of match, like, because, yeah, like, the game looks okay, but I don't want to be fighting through a Stromgard that looks like, you know, with this walls, I'd like it to be higher textures, and I know Stromgard is, but I hope everywhere that, like, uh, has a Warfront gets updated like that. And I hope it's not just in the Warfront. I hope it's, like, just in the overworld that it gets the update. Um, but I'm really looking forward to getting together with some friends and doing the Warfronts. They, again, I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, but they look so good. <laughs> and I'm going to say that about the next topic in the next video, too. Uh, which is going to be Island Expeditions. Um... Do I have any more thoughts on Warfronts, though, besides they look so good? Um, or they sound so good, I guess would be the right thing to say. Uh, I, thought you said it was beautiful. I guess I don't really have anything else to say on them. Um, but you better fucking believe I'm going to be all over them when they come out. Uh, here's hoping I have some friends by then, right? Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the video talking about uh, Island Expeditions, if you're watching these canonically. Uh, so I will see you then. Bye-bye.